Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between VS Code and WebStorm. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is their function. WebStorm is an IDE or Integrated Development Environment basically developed for JavaScript. With WebStorm, users can write, debug, run, and test apps. It contains comprehensive tools that can prototype and deploy code quickly and precisely. In contrast, VS Code is not a fully set development environment, but a code editor. However, users can set up applications from the very initial step to completion with VS Code. Therefore, VS Code is multifunctional as it can be used to develop codes besides its primary editing purpose. Supported Language Since it was primarily designed for JavaScript development, most languages supported by WebStorm are JavaScript-based. Examples of WebStorm-supported languages include TypeScript, React, Angular, AngularJS, and PhoneGap. On the other hand, VS Code supports a wider spectrum of development languages, inclusive of JavaScript. Other languages supported by VS Code include Python, C hashtag, C++, C, and Java. It supports all the key languages for programming. Therefore, VS Code supports more programming languages. Access WebStorm's access necessitates direct licensure from its developers. This means that the developers charge a specified fee to access various WebStorm versions. On the contrary, VS Code is an open-source platform licensed through MIT. This disparity is extended beyond their access. For instance, WebStorm's developers are principally responsible for user support, whereas VS Code's user support is sourced from its community. Therefore, WebStorm's access is relatively more costly than VS Code's, WebStorm's support is more comprehensive and direct than VS Code's. But do they have any similarities? WebStorm and VS Code have various similarities in their characteristics. For instance, they both support various developing languages for enhanced applicability. Also, they both support factoring and testing to optimize code efficiency and quality. To sum up, which is better, VS Code or WebStorm? I found WebStorm to be a good option for problem handling and platform navigation due to its comprehensive and problem-specific user support. However, VS Code is a much better option because of its multifunctionality and ease of access besides its support for all major programming languages. I choose VS Code as the overall winner because of its ease of access, support for numerous programming languages, and multifunctionality. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.